Welcome to the It's In You podcast by Renee Elliott. I'm here to help you find your balance and live your best life guilt-free. I don't believe there's a one-size-fits-all approach for health and fitness. We're all different and we need to find out what works for us. I'm passionate about helping women make realistic, long-term lifestyle changes that they will stick to and they'll be able to take with them forever. I don't believe in crazy diets or short-term fixes. We all need to find a life and a balance that suits our individual needs. I believe we need to dig deeper and work in our mindset first so we can be prepared to face any hurdle throughout your wellness journey. I'm here to give you the confidence and knowledge to do so. So welcome to the It's In You podcast by Renee Elliott because it is in you. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the It's In You podcast. So today I want to talk to you about building an unbreakable foundation. So we want, I want to help guide you into building this unbreakable foundation that no matter what journey you're on, you will always get to where you want to do. And the reason that you're going to get there is because you're going to have the confidence in, within yourself to know that you can do it. And what we need to do is we need to not jump into, uh, you know, starting off a, uh, a exercise regime or not jump into cutting out foods, any of those things. We need, to, we need to take a step back from all of that stuff and just start looking at ourselves first. So start digging a little bit deeper. And when we can start to dig a little bit deeper, then that's where you can really start building on this foundation. And then the, the uh, food and the exercise and all that just starts to become a little bit easier. So I've been a trainer for over 12 years. And my experience with uh, training people, you know, I've had so many people on different weight loss journeys. The thing that upsets me the most is when I see people, you know, they, they lose weight, but then they put it all back on. And that's when I see happen. They're in this a bit of a yo-yo cycle. I have lots of women come to me who have been on this yo-yo cycle for years. And it's really, really hard to change the way that you've been brought up. And the thing to understand is it's not actually your fault. It's not your fault. We've been taught this way that we, we have to restrict and we have to over-exercise in order to get a result. And then what happens is people, they start doing that. And then it's not something that you can stick to long-term. And, and then we feel like we're failing it, that we're failing and that the diet's not working because then we change and we go to something else. But the thing is, the reason that it's not working is because it's too restrictive and it doesn't fit within our lifestyle. And we're then chopping and changing. So that's the thing why I want everybody to start looking at stripping it back and looking at really building this unbreakable foundation. So what I see happen is people, they make a commitment. So they start to make a commitment that they are wanting to let you weight loss as a goal, lose weight. So they make this commitment and then they, they you know, they start exercising, they start eating different foods, but maybe they start this and it feels good for the first couple of weeks, but then an event comes up. Oh, I've got a night out. I've got a birthday this weekend. And then they go out and in that one moment, they make this decision to eat something that what they perceive is not on their plan or is not aligning with their goal. So they eat this or they have extra drinks or any of those things. And then the guilt sets in and then they think they've failed. Then they think that it's never going to work for them or they're broken or why does it never work for me? I've wrecked the whole thing. That was one meal out of the whole week. It was one out of nothing. But we then turn that one thing into either, uh, we, we turn it into either instead of one day, one meal, we turn it into a weekend and think, oh, start again Monday. We turn it into a week-long thing of this guilt and shame of overeating and think, oh, I'll do it, you know, I'll do this for a week and I'll start in the next week. Or we give up altogether and think this will never work for us. But the thing is that we need to understand that we just made this one decision and that's okay. It's, it's the rest of the, it's when you make that decision mean something. Instead of seeing that one thing as you were out with your friends, you're being social, you, you are having fun, you know, and that's, that's what we were, you were living your life. 
You didn't destroy your plan. You've not met your progress. Sometimes those things are actually really required in order to get to where you want to get to. But most women that I see turn it the other way. And so what I, with building this unbreakable foundation, I want you to start thinking of choosing one thing to focus on and have one thing to focus on and really ingrain that habit and make sure that habit works for you, works for your lifestyle and it really, really gets ingrained in. And the more that we can do that, the more that then we're, that we're just building on habit after habit in order to become the person that you want to be, to have a body that you love, a body that you feel confident in, to have lots of energy. What happens is when people make this decision, you know, let's say this decision to go out and eat food that they see wasn't on their plan and, you know, then what happens is they, they start feeling this guilt and shame and that they're not worthy and, you know, because you haven't done what you thought you were meant to do. And then it comes to Monday and you think, oh, well, I'll just skip the gym. So then that happens again. We start going back to those old habits of scrolling on our phone all the time, sitting up late watching TV, uh, not prioritizing your sleep. And we just, it just spirals. And I just don't want that for you anymore. So when I'm saying there's five, five kind of foundations that we need to be thinking about. So if one is sleep, two is stress, three is movement, four is food, and five is fun. So what I am asking is choose one of them. Choose one of those foundations and focus on that. Focus on that one foundation that you can build on. And if I was going to choose one of all of them, I would choose sleep. Prioritize sleep because when we get a good sleep in, we always feel better and everything else falls into place so much easier. When we don't get enough sleep, what happens? We tend to make poorer food choices. We definitely move less and we're more stressed. And I know for me when I'm tired, I'm grumpy with my kids and that's not the mum that I want to be. And I want you to start thinking about we're just choosing this one thing because we're building this foundation, choosing one thing to prioritise. And I want you to start thinking about being in alignment of who you would like to be. So the person that the person that you would like to to be, to have the body that you desire, the energy level, what would they be doing? So what would that person, how would they live their life? Would they sleep in in the morning? Would they get up early? There's, there's no right or wrong. It's what works for you. But I want you to start to become in alignment with that person. And how do we do that? We need to start asking ourselves some questions and see if see who that person is that you want to be and what would they be doing. So, you know, would you be going to the gym regularly? Would you be going out walking? Would you be doing activities with your kids? What type of food would you be eating? Where would you be hanging out? And, and start really thinking about that person that you want to become. And the more that we start thinking about who that person is, and we start acting as if we're already there. So start acting that you're already there, that you're already, you're already that person, the size that you want to be. Where would you shop? What clothes would you buy? You know, what things would you do on the weekend? So who is that person? Is that person that you want to be somebody that is over-exercising, somebody that's restricting their food, somebody that's not having any fun? You know, are you somebody that's telling yourself, well, I can't go out until I lose a certain amount of weight. I can't enjoy this time with my friends. I can't go to this event until I'm a certain size because that's not in alignment with who you want to be. And remember, the thing is our brain is wired to keep us safe. So our brain is going to always go to what's familiar for us. So what's familiar could be this negative talk. What's familiar could be this restriction. And, and even, and even though it's not right for us, your brain will want to go that way because it's the path of least resistance. It's what it's known. And we need, need to start reminding the brain of who you want to be. And that, that is possible. And letting, giving the brain more evidence to see that, oh, I can, I can be a, I can be the mum that wears bathers, wears a bikini and doesn't feel embarrassed. I can be the mum that runs on the beach 
with her children and has a good time. I could be the mum that has an ice cream, you know, with my kids and doesn't feel guilty for it. I doesn't think I have eaten nothing else for the rest of the day to balance it out. None of that stuff. But you need to give your brain more reminders that that's who you are and that you can be the size you want to be whilst living that way. Because the biggest thing that causes you to not get your goals is when we make this choice. This choice that I talked about, this one thought of, of, of going out for the weekend, let's say, and but the thought is that you didn't do something right, the thought that you failed, the thought that you have gone off plan. It's not going out. Nothing wrong with going out. So you should be and you should be living your life. But when you make the decision that you've done something wrong or, you know, that you've gone off plan, any of those things, when we start to feel that guilt and that shame, that's, that's the time when we start quitting. That's the time when we give up. And that's the time where you stop getting your results. So it's not the plan that's not worked for you. It's, you know, the, whatever plan you're on, if you're consistent with it, it will work. But the thing is, let's find a plan that works for you, not a plan that's really restrictive. Because if you find something that works within your lifestyle, you will be able to stick to it. And that's the thing. The thing that makes you not get results, the things that I've seen, all the women that have trained over the 12 years as a trainer, what has been the thing that's made them not get the result is when they quit. It's when they quit. And do you know what? Most of them, they're just about there. Most of them, they're further than they think. They're getting there. They're slowly getting this habit. But they always think that weight loss has not been quick enough because they've seen something on social media of how it should be. They think they're not getting it quick enough. They think that they're not doing enough or any of those things. But the thing is, they're, they're so close. They're already so close to there. They just give up. They give up and then they think, this is never going to work for me. I'm destined to be this way. And then they give up and they don't get the results. And the only thing that is stopping you is when you quit. And this is where I'm going to guide you to build this unbreakable foundation. So when these things happen, you don't quit. We don't quit. We just keep moving forward. So how do we start building this unbreakable foundation that I'm talking about? You've got to ask yourself questions. The other questions and, and start really connecting with the person that you want to be. What are your values? What are, what are your beliefs? And get really familiar with that person and get really familiar with that future self of who you want to be. Think about how they act. Um, what are their habits? What are their daily routines? What are their belief systems? What are their values? And really, really start reminding yourself that you can be this person and start acting in that way. Now, what works for me is totally different as to what works for you. That's why we can't have like a cookie kind of plan that's just follow this plan because it has to be unique to you and your situation and what you see as how you want to be. And when you start uh, asking yourself these questions, when you start investigating it more, you know, before I, I didn't even really, I was just going along with the motions of, of lots of things. I was going along with the motions and, and I had never stopped to think what I actually want. I guess I was just doing stuff that I thought was right, um, that, that I had, and I also didn't realize until I asked myself these questions, I had these beliefs that all these things that weren't even, that weren't true to me anymore. I had these beliefs that I had I'd taken on board as my truths from, from family members, from people I knew growing up, from people I worked with, and they weren't working for me anymore. So I had to do the work to discover all this stuff and to work out what to let go of. And, you know, the more that we can become aligned with this person that we want to be in the future, the more we can become aligned with them, the more that we can see how they would live their life and start living this life. You're giving your brain that more evidence. We're giving our brain more evidence to make sure to know that we can become that person. And the subconscious mind, will, we will have that more proof you will have that more proof of that you can live that way. You can go out, enjoy a meal with your friends. You can have pizza. And instead of, you know, have pizza and, and wine and beer and, and whatever else, you can do that because that's not your norm. 
and you can make a decision that is a poor decision, say, that is not aligned with, you know, weight loss or wherever you're trying to get to. You can skip the gym, you can eat pizza, any of those things. And instead of your brain, instead of you telling you that you fucked up, instead of feeling guilty, feeling shame, feeling like you're not going to get there, your brain will start to recognize that this is a once-off. This is a once-off and it's something that you did in the moment and that it's not going to impact your end result. It's not going to impact the big picture. It's a once-off. And then you'll be able to do it more often and be okay with it and you won't quit. And that's what is going to help us have this unbreakable foundation. The thing is I want everybody to build a life for themselves where there is no restriction, a life where they can... Uh, enjoy the foods they want. They can eat the foods that make them feel good. Not because they think they should be on diet, not when they're eating these foods and feeling deprived. They're going to eat this food because it gives them more energy. They're going to eat these foods because they're, they're able to do more things in their day, because they're, they're nourishing their body. Instead of, instead of under-eating, <laughs> feeling so fatigued and feeling tired all the time and having no energy to do anything, you can be able to be social. And go out and enjoy time with your friends and not feel like you're stuffing up your plan and not feel like you're uh, never going to get to where you want to go to. This is the life that I want, a life of, of, of fun and, and enjoyment and, and moving your body in a way that feels good for you. It's all possible for everyone. The other thing that I feel troubles us is when we give ourselves this deadline we give us this deadline of something has to happen by a certain date. And if things haven't happened exactly the way that we thought that it should, they get to this, this date or they get close to it and then they feel that they've failed. But what happens if we just kept moving forward? We st- get rid of the deadline. We have no end date, but we just start chipping away and just keep keep moving forward. We just keep moving forward. Towards, towards where we want to be. And then one day you realize you're there and you realize that you got there and it wasn't that hard. It wasn't that horrible, restrictive, uh, over-exercising life, that yo-yo cycle that you spent so many years doing. And the thing, the other question I want you to ask yourself today is if you knew you had all these different options of weight loss in order to get to where you want to do, if you knew we took the time limit away, but every decision was guaranteed. Every decision was guaranteed that you would get there. Which path would you choose? What path would you choose? So I really want you to think about that. And I want you to write that down. So you could choose any path and what would it be? But in your guaranteed a result. You guaranteed a result at the end. I'm just not giving you a timeline for it. And I want you to think about that path and maybe look at implementing it. Does that path align with the future you who we talked about before? What were the values of that future you and what would they be doing? And how does that align with who you are now? And I really want you to start piecing that puzzle together. When we start doing this, when you start asking yourself these questions, this is how we're going to build these unbreakable foundations. We're not jumping into weight loss. We're not jumping into exercise regimes and uh, restricting our food, none of this stuff. We're going to work out who we actually want to be first. So let's start working out that stuff. Work out all of that stuff first and then choose a path of weight loss that you can stick to. Watch that every path is guaranteed. Okay. So every path is guaranteed. The only, there's no time limit on it. It's guaranteed as long as you don't give up as long as you just keep chipping away. And along the way, things might change. What you did to start off with might not be how you went, but we just don't give up and we just keep moving forward. So that's the questions I'm asking you today. That's the things I want you to think about. So if you can take the time to re-listen to this podcast and answer some of the questions, or if you've actually been answering them along the way, that's amazing. But please take the time to do so. And I would love to hear from you. So make sure that you share. If you do so, share with me. If you've learned anything from this, please share with me. We have a program that is coming out soon that is called Mind Over Muscle. And it is all about this stuff. It's all about helping you build this unbreakable foundation. So if this is something 
that you've already learned something and if you want to learn more about it please make sure that you get yourself on the wait list so you can be the first to know when the program opens right i'll speak to you all soon thanks for listening to the it's in you podcast i hope you've been able to find this information of use to you if you know someone who will benefit from listening to this podcast please share Make sure you share it with them so we can continue to spread our message and help empower women to have the bodies that they desire and still enjoy their life too. Make sure that you subscribe to our podcast so that you can be the first to know when a new podcast is released. If you do enjoy this podcast, please take the time to leave a five-star review. It would be truly appreciated. Leaving reviews is one of the only way to help grow and share my message. If you do so, please make sure you take a screenshot, tag me in it and share it onto any of our socials. And if you send us a DM, I'll be able to send you a free gift straight to your inbox. Remember that you've got this and you can do anything that you set your mind to because it is in you. Much love, Renee.